Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to see the difference between extratropical cyclone and tropical cyclone. Here I have made a list of factors based on which the extratropical cyclone and the tropical cyclones can be compared. We will see each of these factors one by one. So the first is the factors responsible for formation of extratropical cyclone and tropical cyclone. So the extratropical cyclone is mainly formed by fronts. There is cold front and warm front as well as there is a low pressure in the upper atmosphere which is created generally by jet streams. However, in the tropical cyclone, it is formed by a low pressure system where we see that in a region where there is higher ocean water temperature, the low pressure system is formed and air from surrounding regions will move over here. Here we can see the extratropical cyclone. These are the fronts. This is the warm front and this is the cold front. And this is how it is formed. While here we can see a tropical cyclone. Here is a low pressure system. And we can see that air from the surrounding regions move towards the low pressure system. So this is how both of them are created. One is created by a low pressure system and another is created by fronts and jet streams. Next is shape of extratropical and tropical cyclones. So here it's more comma shaped as you can see over here. It looks like a comma. While the tropical cyclone, it looks like a spiral. We can clearly see the difference between the shapes of both of these cyclones. Then it is the diameter or the size of these cyclones. Here in a single image, we have marked extratropical cyclone as well as tropical cyclones and you can see that the extratropical cyclone it covers a very vast area compared to the tropical cyclones it can be thousands of kilometers in radius while the tropical cyclones can have around hundreds of kilometers of radius so clearly the extratropical cyclones are way bigger and they affect a very large area then we have rotation we can see here that the air rotates in an anti-clockwise direction. The air is moving in this direction. Similarly here, we can also see that in the tropical cyclone also the air rotates in anti-clockwise direction. And this is true for northern hemisphere. If you go in the southern hemisphere, then the rotation direction will change. Now, the direction of wind flow. So winds do not circulate around the center. Here we can see that the winds are not circulating around the center but it is moving from here and goes in this shape. So it is not exactly a circular motion. But if we see over here then we can clearly see that the air is moving around the center. This is eye of the cyclone and it is moving around the center. Then the wind speed in extratropical cyclones are relatively slow. While in the tropical cyclones, they have a very high velocity. They can clearly or they can very easily exceed 100 or 200 kilometers per hour. Next is the location of formation. So extratropical cyclones can be formed over land as well as ocean. So there is no restriction on extratropical cyclones. While the tropical cyclones are only formed over oceans. In fact, they are formed only in tropical regions. While the extratropical cyclones are formed only in the extratropical regions. And the reason is that the tropical cyclones require moisture. The warm ocean waters provide this moisture. So when this tropical cyclone it makes a landfall that is it reaches a land region. The supply of this moisture is cut off that it was receiving from the ocean and therefore these tropical cyclones they die as soon as they reach the land area while the extratropical cyclones they are mainly driven by temperature difference in the air mass remember there is a cold front and there is a warm front so it is a temperature difference between these two fronts that drives the extratropical cyclone so it continues even if there is a land or there is an ocean it does not depend on the amount of moisture that it is receiving from the ocean. While the tropical cyclone depends on the amount of moisture it receives from the ocean. Next is the direction of their movement. So we can see that here there are extratropical cyclones. We can see them and these extratropical cyclones have more or less this east to west movement. While the extratropical cyclones move from west towards east. We can clearly see the difference in the movement of both of these cyclones. 
Now, there are some other factors like amount of rain. So, the amount of rainfall which is received in extratropical cyclone is medium. It does not give that much amount of rainfall. While in the tropical cyclone, we receive very high amount of rainfall. There is huge spike in the amount of rainfall if there is a tropical cyclone approaching a region. The lifespan of extratropical region is generally from 15 to 20 days. They are longer than the tropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones also can last from few days to few weeks, but generally the tropical cyclones have a way smaller life than the extratropical cyclones. You already seen the driving factor. The extratropical cyclone driving factor is temperature difference in air mass, that is the two fronts, while here the driving factor is the moisture. I hope you like this video on the difference between extratropical cyclone and tropical cyclone. If you have enjoyed the video, then do share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. If you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments. And if you like what we are doing, then you can support us by using the UPI ID. Thanks for watching the video.